Welcome apprentice, today the old wizard decide to share some tips and advices with you, and I truly believe they will make your start in the Empire of Ember much easier, and you will become a good light bringer much faster. And if you enjoy what this wild peasant is doing and he just ruin everything around, like this video, and of course I will be happy to see you on my channel, so subscribe right now. Guys, I can't watch it, he destroyed his house completely, oh my god, he destroyed this wall, this wall, and now destroying the rest of his home, what a wild peasant. <laughs> Let's start. During your character creation, I strongly advise you to take two points of leadership with you, cause during the very first event in the throne room, using them you will be able to get additional army, and yes, there will be archers in this army, and archers is not easy to get, you have to build a lot to get them. So they will be very useful, and right from the beginning you will have enough warriors to go and complete your first quest and defeat these goblins. So it will be very useful to have true leadership, you will need it anyway. Ok, you win a first battle and get your first ember, now it's time to put it in some spells. So I advise you to pay attention to these passive abilities first, they are very nice, but what I like most is this one, you enchanted training let you bring multiple weapons into combat, for me it looks amazing, I will no longer have only one weapon and can switch him right in the battle. Ok, let's move to the next tip, when you explore in a dungeon or right in the middle of the battle, don't hold yourself, just destroy everything you can, cause you can get additional resources, and you will need them, believe me, so let your fury out, destroy everything you can, and almost everything can be destroyed. So just enjoy it. Never forget that you are mage and can do something like this. Always use everything that's around you to your advantage. And while you are in dungeon, just remember your health point is not regenerating. Of course, there will be a place to restore your health, but they are rare. And one more thing to remember, you will have some kind of mana burn. So I use a little bit of spells and you see, now my mana will not recover to 100%, it will stop right here, and more spells you use, the more mana burn will affect you and only rest will help you, so just keep that in mind. Now let me tell you a very interesting thing about research, actually about a spell book, so we throw a dice, oh no, roll again, so we throw a dice and get we get our number and if we accept this research, the dungeon with 13 spell books will appear on the map. But it's not true, actually the last time I visited this dungeon, there was not 13 spell books there, but 69, what a beautiful number, oh devs. So it doesn't matter what numbers of spell books do you roll with these dice, there will be a lot of more of these spell books in the dungeon. Let's take a look at army recruiting screen, and what do we see, they all require a blacksmith to be built, yes all of them completely. And even the siege one requires a blacksmith, so maybe it's a good idea to build a blacksmith and of course a library, cause all magical creatures requires a blacksmith and a library. And undead somehow 
requires a farm to be built? Good and deaths come from farmers? Very strange, but I remember this crazy farmer at the beginning of the video, and yes, it seems that he was possessed with evil. So build a blacksmith, farm and library first. Having a high leadership is very important cause it will help to save your units from death during the combat and increase your army limit. So I think you must spend your first points on leadership. It's extremely important. Usually building one market is good enough, but not here. Building multiple markets will increase amount of goods that are available for purchase each day, so it's really important. Now, my young disciple, I think that you are ready and not beginner anymore, so go and build your empire of amber, but don't forget to subscribe to old wizard channel, cause I have more videos for you, and I will see you in my next video, see you friends. Where is my potions and filters book? Oh, here it is.